Hi everyone, welcome to Mills Family Gardening. I'm Dina and today I would like to give you a quick tour of our garden. Today is July 16th. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. We've had an extremely dry summer, but two days ago we did have a quarter of an inch of rain, which just slightly made the ground wet, but it did not soak the soil, so it, everything is pretty much still dry. But we do have a few things that are doing well, relatively well, and we would like to show you, like for example, these vincas, you can see they're supposed to be heat tolerant, sun loving flowers, but even they are struggling even though I've been watering them every day. And of course, marigolds are doing okay under the shade cloth. This is 40% shade cloth. And in between all these flowers, we have some pak choy. If you come closer here, you can see that this pak choy is actually doing real well. It's still not blooming and I'm still collecting it for salads. I don't collect the whole head, I just collect the outer leaves and let the other ones keep growing. And also, in between pak choy and the flowers, we have some cantaloupe growing. I mean, you can grow several vegetables in one raised bed and if you come over here, you can see that we have a little melon growing right here. There it is. Look, it's looking cute. And we have another little one right here. It looks really good. To the right from the cantaloupes, we have these eggplants and one pepper plant that we planted a few weeks ago. And we just wanted to give you a quick update on them. You can see that this one is actually doing really well. The other ones are doing okay. And this eggplant is actually blooming. We had one that bloomed, but the bloom didn't do anything. It didn't produce a fruit. And I assume it's because of the heat. And that's okay. I'm hoping that in the fall, they will start producing again. These are supposed to be heat tolerant varieties and I'm a little bit disappointed that they're not producing in this heat but it's okay we'll see if maybe the fall will help them produce better. In between the cantaloupe we have some bunching onions here. They're not super big and I've been harvesting some for our salads. You can see they're doing pretty well and one of them actually started bunching. You see it used to be one bulb of onion, but now it's turned into two and that's how they multiply. So eventually, hopefully, we'll have more bunching onions. On this side of our garden bed, we have some pak choy and I'm going to remove the shade cloth and show you all that the pak choy on this side is actually doing much better than the other one. You can see it's right here. It's not very big because I need to keep working on the soil, but you can see that it's not blooming yet and I keep harvesting. We also have some Swiss chard and because of the poor soil it's not very big also. In this small raised bed we have strawberries that I planted last fall. We did harvest a little bit. This is their first year here, but you can see that they're struggling. I've been watering them every day and for example the strawberries on this side of the raised bed I guess that's where the sun is the hottest. This one completely died and then the other ones have some crispy dry leaves so I'm going to keep trying to water them. I'm also thinking that this year I would like to order some heat tolerant strawberry roots and I'm going to try to raise them in containers and I would like to see if they maybe will do better than these strawberries. Back in June we planted some sweet potatoes after we harvested our regular potatoes and the sweet potatoes are one of the few vegetables that are just loving the heat. They're taking in all the sun they can and they're spreading and doing really well. Behind the sweet potato raised bed we have this plant is called sorrel and I use it as a green for our salads. You can also make soups with it but sorrel can be another green that you can grow in the middle of July in the heat. This is full afternoon sun and you see that it's doing pretty well. It does get a little bit wilted but once the sun goes away it perks back up. In this raised bed we have ginger that we planted back in May I believe and it's doing pretty well. You can see that some leaves have gotten a little dry and yellow. This is from the morning sun. It only gets morning sun but even that is too strong and too hot for ginger. At least it's getting afternoon shade like right now but overall it's looking pretty good. Ideally I would need to set up a shade cloth for it. I haven't done it and I think it will be fine without it. 
Back in the spring, I separated some seedlings of kale, lettuce, and kohlrabi, and here they are. I planted them in the spot that gets afternoon shade, and this is what they're getting right now. And you can see that kale is doing really well. The soil here is not very fertile, and I did not really prepare it. I just stuck the seedlings in the ground because I didn't have time to prepare the soil. But even without the good soil, kale is doing really well. So this is another green that you could grow in the middle of the summer, and it will grow just fine. You can see that lettuce actually bolted, so we stopped harvesting lettuce. But this kohlrabi is doing pretty well. I probably need to harvest it, but I'm sure I could harvest the leaves that are edible. About two weeks ago, we prepared this raised bed and planted some pumpkin and squash seeds. This is actually a Seminole pumpkin, and these are petty pan squash. I'm just hoping that I'll be able to harvest the squash and pumpkins before squash vine borers get them. And I read that Seminole pumpkin is more resistant to squash vine borers. That's why I decided to grow them this year. And behind them we have some purple hull peas or cow peas. They're doing okay. They're green and it looks like they're thriving but they're not producing yet. So I'm thinking it might be a little bit too hot for them also. So I'm hoping that when the weather cools down a little bit they will start producing some beans. This raised bed gets full afternoon sun all day long and you can see that this kale here is doing really well. It's wilted a little bit but when the sun goes away it will perk up. And also we have Swiss chard. Swiss chard is doing really well in the heat also. All I do is water them every day in the morning and then they're fine the rest of the day. Also you can see this borage here. In Texas borage is more of a spring and fall plant because in the middle of the sun you can see that it's dry, it doesn't bloom anymore and it's pretty much dying. But borage drops seed willingly and then all the seeds pop up everywhere and produce new borage plants. I would like to finish the video with this okra. You can see that it's doing real well. We actually planted a little late. We planted in, at the end of June. Uh, that's why it's not so tall. And also I did not really prepare the soil because I didn't have time. But I wanted to have okra in our backyard and I just popped the seeds in the ground. I also see this watermelon in the back that I need to pick. It looks like it's ripe. This is sugar baby watermelon. And that's about all for the day. I hope you all enjoyed our little garden tour. If you're experiencing an extreme heat and drought don't get discouraged other gardeners are experiencing it too just wait for the cooler weather and hopefully the garden will do better y'all have a great day and thank you so much for watching bye bye